Michael Douglas has opened up about the quote, uncomfortable experience of sharing a home with his ex-wife. According to the Daily Mail, the actor had shared his luxurious Mayorkan property with his ex, Deandre Luker, with each of them spending up to six months a year in the home. However, Douglas has now bought out his ex-wife's share of the 250-acre Sestaka estate and revealed during an interview with the Ultima Ora newspaper that he and his current wife, Catherine Zeta-Jones, are much more comfortable living in their home without his ex-wife as a part owner. Douglas told the publication, "...it was very uncomfortable sharing the property with my ex-wife Deandra. Six months for each of us wasn't very pleasant for anyone. Catherine is very happy here. Especially now that we don't share with Deandra, she feels much more comfortable." Douglas and Luker divorced back in 2000 after 22 years of marriage. The pair have one child together and had previously decided to share the home as part of their divorce agreement. The property was put on the market back in 2014, but there was no successful offer at the time. The Sestaka estate was built in the 19th century by Archduke Ludwig Salvatore of Austria and is situated in the Tramontana Mountains. According to Architectural Digest, Douglas purchased the property with his ex-wife Luker back in 1990 for $3.5 million. After moving in, the actor renovated many areas of the estate, which boasts two cottages, five apartments, a total of 10 bedrooms, 11 bathrooms, a home movie theater, an outdoor heated pool, a game room, a library, an outdoor kitchen, a wine cellar, and its very own vineyard. The point is, ladies and gentlemen, that greed, for lack of a better word, is good. In a video promoting his beloved Sestaka estate, Douglas had this to say, "...when I first saw Sestaka in 1990, I also fell under its spell and bought the property. I put my own mark on the place, completely modernizing and redecorating the old buildings that were built by the Archduke." The Fatal Attraction star also revealed that he has shared the beautiful property with his family and A-list friends over the decades, including the likes of Tom Cruise, Nicole Kidman, Michelle Pfeiffer, and Jack Nicholson. Per an article in Yahoo, Douglas said, "...many of my friends have stayed at Sestaka, and we have enjoyed wonderful times here together." Throughout his interview with the Ultima Ora newspaper, Douglas also shared rare details of his everyday life living on the Spanish island, where he now resides with his wife Catherine Zeta-Jones and their two children, son Dylan and daughter Karis. The Basic Instinct star told the newspaper, "...I devote at least two hours to reading the news, then we do sport. Some days, friends come over for lunch, we have a siesta, and when we wake up, it's when people in Los Angeles have begun to work, so I can work from here with LA." According to the Daily Mail, Douglas has spent much of the past 30 years living in Majorca, and the actor previously discussed how much the island means to him. Even if we leave, Majorca will always be in our hearts and our lives. We have spent many, many hours here, and it's where I fell in love with Catherine. So for that reason, the island means a lot to me, and I am already part of its history." Fans of Douglas and Zeta-Jones can keep up to date with their everyday lives on the island of Majorca on social media, where the couple regularly share snapshots of the estate on their respective Instagram accounts. Speaking to the Majorca Daily Bulletin, the actor opened up further about his love of the island, revealing that he loves coming back to Majorca in between work, saying, "...it is the place I love the most in the world." During the interview, Douglas also revealed that he is working towards making the Tramontana Mountains, where his home is situated, a World Heritage Site. Douglas told the outlet, I am now very involved with a Tramontana preservation nonprofit, which is fighting to keep the ancient olive trees on the farms. We don't want the mountains to be built on. They should remain as they are. I focus on preserving the part of the heritage that has to do with history and beauty. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more list videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.